What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibor here for T3G, along with... Harris. And uh, we're doing something special. A uh, friend of mine, if you guys actually remember the H21 build, right? I can never really get this right. Right here, 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 right there. The H21 we, uh, we build that we did last year uh, for tax time, right around this time of the year, actually. Uh, we, uh, my friend, uh, is looking for some advice. Uh, her kid wants to do some game streaming, some game recording, and uh, apparently somebody, a friend of his on Xbox, is mouthing off, spouting off like, oh, buy this stuff, buy that stuff, and uh, seems to be leading him down the wrong path. Yeah. So th she said that they were up to $750, and they found a $500 computer at Best Buy with a better processor. So which tells me already that we're getting the wrong parts, we're not doing the best things we could be doing. We've already so, proven that we, you can you can do better than pre build for less. For less. Now, granted, you won't get a keyboard and mouse sure. or a monitor. But I'm um, I'm I'm going off but, the presumption that he already has these things. Yeah. So he already has. I I believe he actually does already have like a little desktop computer that, yeah. but it's not you know the the thing that he needs, uh for for this kind of stuff anyway. For so we're going with a sub eight fifty. That's kind of the budget I set for it. 850 and this is with everything this is with the os uh so top to bottom a nice uh game streaming slash recording build with the operating system so let's get right into it so right here is uh our wish list that i've got set up on newegg and we're going to start off with the diy pc x prime diy e68 bk black mid tower atx mid tower case um solid choice uh, diy pc you guys saw our ranger uh, review last year uh, they do a decent job with their cases this already comes pre-built with three fans uh three one 120 millimeter fans so this is actually going to be a great pick for us because it's already got cooling the drive bays are facing the right direction yeah, um a big one it's me. a little tight uh the the cable management is going to be definitely a huge challenge but you know me I love cable management, so that's definitely going to be a huge, huge fun job for me uh, if we do end up uh, helping this kid out. Also to point out, yeah, it doesn't have rubber grommets, but when you're looking at a price point of this low and you want something still that's powerful enough to do certain things, mm -hmm. you have to kind of skimp on some things. You might not get the case you want, but it still can be a good case. Just it won't have everything that you possibly would want, which will then bring it over $100. So in this case, we're looking at, <laughs> in this case, get it from mm -hmm. this case, ha, uh, we're looking at, you know, a 30 to $40 price range for a case that still has a painted interior, has room for SSDs and regular hard drives. And yeah, you know, you got your uh, crappy colored, uh, you know, cables there, but it is what it is. It still comes with three fans, which is going to help with cooling this thing and yeah i mean it, it, it's it looks pretty good it's not too aggressive but it's not you know more the simplistic design but regardless it's it's going to do what it needs to do I and like it's still better than some other cases at this price range so yeah definitely this is definitely and the biggest a, the biggest thing about this is it gives us a decent cooling for a really good price and at the end of the day later on if he wants to save up some money he can always absolutely throw it into like a stealth case or really anything yeah, else that's gonna you know like a half case or whatever and all these components are gonna work really well even better in a better cooling situation absolutely. a bigger case absolutely so that's gonna be the case uh the board we're gonna go with the trusty msi 970 always. gaming uh back in stock at new egg uh, i actually just ordered another one for a friend of mine uh, the other day, uh, actually, this was out of stock, so I ended up going with a different board. But uh, this is definitely the always the choice of the day. Uh, this might actually even get supplanted. Now that I'm thinking about it, the crate might be about twenty bucks cheaper, so we might be able to save a few dollars there. But definitely, either this or the nine seventy eight crate, uh, both definitely a great great option. Um, I mean, there, we've, we've spoken on this board before, so really nothing much more and to say And we on it. have it in multiple yeah, systems. Yeah, just about now, every system that we have now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, I do want to point out, so some people are going to be like, oh, why didn't you go with Intel, this or that? If we went with an Intel for this price range, it would be an i3 CPU. That's Honestly, 
it's that's not a, something I would want to go with. That's fine that people are going to say, yeah, i3 can still be a good processor. It can, absolutely. Sure. But I prefer to do if I'm going to if I'm going to do something that I requires multiple cores and all that, why not get an 8 core A350? Yeah. So which is where we which went is of what course. We're going to go with 8350970. That is our tried and true works on what now? This, two, three, four, five, five computers that we've got running. I mean, it works. Constantly it's... really, really reliable. This is going to be a fantastic choice. At really, at any budget, this is a great place to start. You Absolutely. go with the 970, you go with the 8350, black edition. And we to, to, to cool that, you got to get something bigger. You can't go with the stock, so. You can go with the stock. It just doesn't. Could, but it, it just, doesn't, just, it doesn't, doesn't give you the air of power. Listen, You've got we're eight. Not, cores right you got to put something on we're there. not we're not you know in denial when it comes down to amd yes they run a little hotter they do use more power so in that aspect you want to make sure that processor is getting good cooling mm-hmm. so that way it can last a better amount of time so why not do a better cooler now granted this is actually is cooler, very similar to to my zalman it's got the, yeah, the metal yeah, clip absolutely. on the side so i mean granted this isn't a company necessarily that we might have looked at earlier but for the price point that you're looking at, you kind of got to, you know, look at reviews and see what people are saying, oh. how it goes. But it looks like this I'm one. I'm a little jealous of this one. This actually hooks up to the oh, to stock backplate. Yeah, to the Stock backplate. Back so even less work to get great cooling. It's got basically the same setup that I've got on my Zalman. It's got the copper piping. Uh, it's got the fan on there. I mean, it looks like you could add on another fan on the other side. Really, uh, not a, not a lot wrong with this this thing. Choking hazard. Don't let your small children play with this thing. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't have uh, ch- three year old children three years or under uh, next to your PC components. Right. Preferably. <laughs> uh, now to to give us multitasking capabilities, so you can record and do things on the screen like I am right now. We're gonna go with sixteen gigs. Of course, we cannot go under 16 gigs, especially for anything like this. If you're going to be gaming and doing something else, anything else, you have to start at 16 gigs. You can get away with eight doing just one thing, but if you want to do anything else, play music, if you want anything else and still have a decent experience while gaming, you have to start at 16. I would even go so far as to say you might want to go with 32 gigs with something like this. I'll be honest with you. The 32 gigs on my stealth is definitely helpful when I'm doing the recording, when I'm doing streaming, anything like that. Absolutely helpful. But it's 16 is a great place to start with this. We go with Mushkin. Uh, I actually just ordered Mushkin for another friend of mine. So Mushkin's definitely good reviews, great uh, reliability from everyone that talked about it. So yeah. I'm 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 not hesitant at all. This is their you know this is their bottom of the line. Uh, not fancy. We don't have, we don't have the fancy like silver accents you know it's not right, it's not quite fancy right. but you know what it'll do the job it's got the heat spreaders i'm super happy with this choice absolutely and i mean as he already mentioned mushkin is definitely a brand that's recognized around there in the tech universe i mean they've been great for memory and now they're also great for ssds so really there's no reason not to go with them and since they're offering the better price than anybody else why not do it now granted it does have the green pcb but you know what? You're not going to see that when it's installed. All you're going to see is the uh, heat spreader that's on there that's all black. So you're perfectly fine with that. And he's absolutely right. If you're looking at a particular budget, I mean, at some point, the budget's going to limit you to not be able to get 16 gigs. But if you're looking to multitask, uh, where you're, you know, recording videos, you're rendering videos, you are have multiple... Uh, Web browsers open. Oh man, I lost <laughs> like, the word. Where, where were you going? Multiple web browsers I wasn't sure. open, or one web browser open with multiple tabs. All that requires a lot of memory, and we've already mentioned this in our previous build videos. There's there's literally games right now for recommended settings that recommend 16 gigabytes of system memory. Yep, 16 gigs for recommended. Now, granted, you can go with minimal, which is eight gigs. But that's literally because then you won't have your settings at full range or whatever it is or close to uh, maxed out in that game. Yeah. Because if you want to maxed out, it requires more of the RAM. Titanfall does it as well, even though they don't recommend 16 gigs. I've seen Titanfall do it on my computer. So yeah, it's just I mean, it's that simple. 16, 16 is definitely, I mean, we cannot stress this enough. You got to start at 16 and go up. You can't, 
You can't really be, mess with eight. You used to be able to do eight, but, but nowadays, you used to be, you used to be able to do a lot of things for a lot less money. Exactly. You can <laughs> you can go still with eight. It's just you're gonna be definitely a limiting to yeah. what you want to do. Right. So to power the graphics, we're gonna go with the R7 360. Uh, it is very similar to my 260. Uh, it's actually got the same fan and kind of it's, the same it's, layout. It's actually the same card. It's, they yeah, never it's essentially really, the same they card. They never really changed anything with going from the 200s to the 300s. Right. Mine's the 260X. Yeah, so yours is probably a little faster and right. it has a little more, more uh, but steam. But as you can see, so. we've got top-end reviews. I mean, Gigabyte's a great company. I've had Gigabyte before. Yeah, I've got absolutely. a Gigabyte board in my media center. I, I'm absolutely... I mean, this is a great choice. This is going to give us and great power. It's going to give you enough. It's got HDMI output. It's got uh, two DVI, so you can run multiple monitors. And display port. Display port if you want to get crazy and run, like, 4K monitors. I wouldn't recommend it necessarily on no. a 360, <laughs> especially a single 360 to try to run 4K. But, listen, for $110 at a 2 gigabyte card, yep. you can't beat this. That's the biggest thing. It's you got can't 2 gigs this. of GDDR5. This is definitely the... This, this is a great budget choice for what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish a streaming slash uh, game recording PC, and this is definitely a great choice for and this. And if the person ever needs to, you can throw in another 360, and you'll boost up your performance. Now, it won't double your performance. That's not how Crossfire or SLI works, but it will improve your performance depending on what you're doing, recording sure. video, streaming, stuff like that. So. Absolutely. That in that aspect, it definitely will help, and rendering as well. Actually, this is not an SLI card. Oh well, it wouldn't be an SLI; it'd be a Crossfire. Card. I mean, it's not Crossfire. Oh, but Crossfire is built in now. Crossfire is built in. That's I'm I'm dumb. I'm dumb. For boot, we're gonna go with the Kingston two hundred and forty SSD now V three hundred model. Um, really, not much to say about this. I, I am strongly for SSD for boot up. Uh, I am yeah. in the process of converting yeah. uh, everyone in my family <laughs> to SSD. Uh, to my SSD. wife is about to get a 240 for boot. My uncle is about, or my mom is going to get a 120 for boot up. Uh, I mean, everything. My uncle's going to be next for with a, with a 120 gig. Everybody's switching over to SSD. It's just, it's you know what? It saves headaches. It saves time. This is definitely everything, the way to go. Man. It just, it's so annoying to work on a computer that doesn't have an yeah. SSD. Yeah, I mean, and, it, and it's Kingston. Kingston's a great brand. I've got the 120 gig version of this. That's actually what's going to end up going into my mom's. That's what was running on my Samsung before, and it, it never, hasn't failed me. It's worked on multiple computers now. The great thing about SSDs is that the amount of data that it takes to, like, crash one of these things, they, j they finished a test last year. Last year or the year before, they finished, a, like, a two-year test because it took so long because it's constant running too because right? it's constant and it's con constant running test but they had to write something like 1.6 or 1.8 petabytes of data to it it's before ridiculous. it stopped yeah. working so i mean you're gonna have a long life out of an ssd now don't get us wrong we understand each drive is to its own not all not everything is going to be that consistent in lifespan i mean you could just possibly get a bad drive that sure dies out in six months that's not what we're saying we're saying that on the normal basis, on the norm, these should last a very long time. Granted, you, with technology, you don't know what could happen, but them being tested, this is what is expected of them. Yeah. And I absolutely, 100% agree. I can't stand now working on systems without an SSD. It takes way too long to do anything. Yeah. To load up a window, to start up Windows after an update or after doing updates to programs. It's just annoying. There's no reason not it's to 2016 have an SSD. SSD, 16 gigs. We got to go there. Now, absolutely. now, since we are recording games, we are recording, we are streaming, we need a place to put it all. So we're going to go with the HGST Desk Star, uh, two terabytes internal. Uh, 7200 RPM, pretty so standard. Cash, which is great what price, you want to excellent price. To as well. I mean, the price on these has been dropping yeah. very, very quickly. I mean, listen, it's it's mechanical drives. This is what you expect. They're not SSDs, mm -hmm. so they're not being you know priced anymore at a high rate. But at the same time, listen, they're great for storage. They're great for applica certain applications that you are going to use. Uh, it just it all depends on what you're going to use it for but i mean you can't fit Western everything so, on okay. the ssd so that's you know, what if it is. you have a if you have a steam library where you play you know 
five to ten games consistently, well, that's that's a lot of memory, and you're not going to want to put it on a 240 gig SSD. Now, if you right. have a one terabyte SSD, that's a different story. But in this case, you'll most likely put it on here. Also, as well, recording any videos or anything like that that you might want to do, depending on your recording software, might take up a lot of data, and you're going to use this to do it. HGST, one of those companies that's very much, uh, you know, utilized in the tech universe. So it's it's what replaced Hitachi. Because Western Digital bought out the Death Star brand, right. and I th they might have even bought out Hitachi uh, as a company that makes drives. Because the Death Star used to be HTSD, I, or it used to be a Hitachi. I've actually got Death Stars still that work. Yeah. So, presuming that they didn't change anything in their production, Death Stars last a good amount of time. If you don't, you know, as long as you don't misuse them or mistreat them, make, make sure they're kept cool and everything like that. Absolutely. So, two terabytes, definitely a good way to go to have some storage for all the all the videos we're going to be recording with this. For, you know, in case you need to play a DVD or in case you need to install something, uh, because a lot of software still does come on disc, uh, you can definitely skip this. This is 20 bucks. that's kind of take it or leave it. I always like to have one just in case because you, you just really never know. And there is also, I mean, at this current moment, as you can see, there is a $6 off promo code that you can use at checkout that'll oh, take so an additional cheaper. six bucks off. And that all depends, of course, when you're looking at these things. You know, prices are going to vary on a continuous basis. This particular one might not be on sale with that promo code, but I bet you something at that time might be. So just look around for yeah. the best one. Normally, people don't care about. Uh, optical drives, but you know, like me and Dalbor here, we actually still use them on a somewhat uh, fairly decent basis. So why not? And you never know when you're going to get something awesome. Like I, I, I got randomly uh, old AOL disc oh, yeah. that came with a Spider-Man. Heck yeah, man! Uh, I still web, have that a web too. comic. I still have that too. Back in the day, so I just I, I ended up pulling that off. I'm going to try to find a way to open those comics. Absolutely. Um, and then to power all this, we're going to go with the Rosewill. We trust the brand. Uh, I, I 650 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply. Nothing flashy, not too fancy, all no. black. But 65 bucks, it's a good price. Uh, right now, it's 19 percent off. Um, again, like you said, prices are going to vary. This is just the price at the moment. So 650 watt, this is plenty. We did the calculation. You, this thing right now, as we've built it, will take about 405 watts. Right. Uh, if we throw in another card, we're looking at about 509 watts and 650. Another 360, of course. Another That's 360, assuming yeah. assuming that we stick with the same card. Yeah, case. so right now we'd be looking at, even if we you know maxed out and go with two cards, we would be looking at 509 watts. So 650 is definitely going to be plenty to cover all that. So, and again, Rosewell is definitely the way to go. Yeah. And we're going to go with Windows 10 Home, 64-bit, because, well, it's 2016, everything ought to be 64 bit Absolutely. and um, no we go with the oem copy because you save 20 bucks why wouldn't you want to why wouldn't and you? realistically you don't need the support um if it, <laughs> it's funny though the reviews are hilarious because it's three stars um that's a matter of opinion that's just people not like well that is a man well. your opinion and you know there's obviously with uh here's the thing i wasn't a big fan of windows 8 with Windows 10, I like the features and the way everything done and the fact that the start menu is back, but they have their glitches here and there. Sure, every, and everything it, and does. It's a, it's a thing that happens and something that you have to get used to. Normally, we don't even include OSs in our builds, but in this particular moment, we were able to put everything in a proper budget where the OS is included. You don't have to go with Windows 10. If you have another way of picking it up, uh, there's other places that actually sell them for cheaper. I don't know exactly all the websites, but there are other places where you can save an additional 20, 30 bucks, to be honest. But sure. this is something that's thrown in Or if in you already there. have one, or if you're going to go with Linux. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Linux is definitely Linux. an option. You, if you go with SteamOS, if, if it's just going to be for game, you can go with SteamOS. I mean, Linux is an option. You're going to have a limited uh, limited options as far as games if you go with Linux. Right. But, you know, full Windows, you got the 100 bucks on there. We got it added in. So, in total, what we're looking at for this bad boy is $834.65. $15 short of the uh, the 850 budget. This is going to vary, of course. We got $3 instant, $2 instant, $10 instant. Right. I another mean, 13 this... We got about 50 bucks off right now. Yeah. This could change. The 970 goes down in price all the time to, to 80 bucks. It does. So, that 970 gaming. Yeah, from it, MSI it, everything will fluctuate. Fluctuates it, it, a lot. It always is going like to depend on when you're buying this 
and uh, you know how, how fast you want to buy everything. You could piecemeal it, maybe try to catch some better deals, but it's again, it's all going to depend. And you can always check different websites. I mean, we do Newegg because their site is very easy to monitor. It's very easy to go through, and they usually have really good deals on stuff. So we normally go to yeah. Newegg. Yes, can you find... Uh, you can check you know, Amazon. You can to... Amazon is definitely an Absolutely. option. Uh, I use Amazon for everything else, basically. And yeah. more often than not, when I'm shopping for parts, I'll still check Amazon because, I mean, because you got to remember, all this stuff is price. competition. Everybody's trying to sell this stuff, so everybody's going to give you an extra dollar or two here and there so That's always a, always something to keep in mind you can always go to pc part picker and check all the different availabilities from different companies that's mm -hmm. one thing that's nice about pc part picker it'll show you all the prices from the different companies so you can go that route too and see what's the best way you can even use it to shop if you really wanted to we just like to do new a because we can set up our wish list we can do all that it's just something that we enjoy so and, and like i said usually they have one of some of the better prices so so that 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 gives us uh the, like i said 834.65 plus or minus 30 40 bucks depending on which time you're buying and what you're buying and you, like i said you could always piecemeal it if you take off the the dvd writer you're going to save 20 bucks right. if I you mean, stick with the factory cooler I always prefer to go with an uh, after brand cooler because or aftermarket cooler because it's going to give you better cooling. I mean, there's just Absolutely. no way around that. Um, I mean, you can wait on the storage drive if you're going to do streaming. You know, in in this case, since we are talking about a specific use for this right. computer, if you're going to stick with streaming and not going to record primarily, then you could definitely skip the storage drive, saving another seventy bucks. It's it's really just a matter of exactly what you want to do with this. Absolutely. So. This is what I went with to kind of cover both bases, streaming and recording. Uh, the only other things you got to consider are uh, the recording software and obviously your game. So if yeah. you're buying, if you already have a Steam library, that's not an issue. But you got to look at if you're going to do XSplit or if you're going to do Open Broadcaster or there are a couple other options as well. But this is definitely, this is what we got so far. Um, I'm going to send this uh, it's a link to my friend and we'll see, see if they need some help with it or if he's just going to try it out himself and uh hopefully everything works out for the best yeah absolutely i mean honestly like i said you could try to go intel but you're looking at lower in my opinion processors that can still handle certain things you throw at them but not what an 8350 could handle yeah i mean certain things to, to keep under 850 will, you're, you're right that's because i mean realistically if you're going to go and you're, if you're going to go intel you got to go nvidia and right there, you're already you're up, up upping your price point by at least twenty thirty dollars for everything. Here's the thing: when you go to Intel, you don't have to necessarily go Nvidia, but usually it's optimal. It's, to go it's the to, best pairing. It's it really is the best pairing for, pair, for that pairing. But like I said, yeah, you can probably find an i five that would fit in this budget. It's just once again, it's an i five that doesn't have hyper threading. It's really low. It's anything under the sixty six hundred for i fives. You're, you know, you're looking at essentially something that's not necessarily better than the 8350. Will it do certain things a little better than the 8350? Sure, but that's because Intel has released new architecture where AMD hasn't. So certain things it might, but stuff that requires multi multitasking and something like that where it requires more cores, there's no reason not to do the 8350. AMD is still a well, good off computer that's a still a player in the business. And they're, Absolutely. And, they're, and you know what? Soon enough, they'll release something new. Hopefully, that'll that'll do better than what it has been. So, in that aspect, I I personally believe that the eighty three fifty, the AMD way, would be the right way to go on this aspect. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you have not, and check out t three gtech dot com for other stuff that we really haven't been updating but we should yeah we will. You know, we're working on it facebook instagram all that good stuff and you know if you want to check out our stream twitch.tv forward slash t3g gaming and make sure to uh let us know down in the you know in the little chat whatever it's called i can't remember comments comments, comments thank you in the comments <laughs> let us know what you might do differently we understand some of you are out there that know what you're doing around computers you know what you're doing when it comes down to part picking so let us know what you might do a little differently. You know, would you not go with an SSD? Would you do something else for hard drives? Uh, you know, just let us know. We're, we like seeing uh, in people's comments and what they would do differently than us. You know, it's I think it's a it's a fun thing to look at. Absolutely. See you guys next time.